Good morning. Welcome to a morning review on Monday, the 1st of December. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, so looking at the pound dollar first, uh, as you can see, we've uh, managed to uh, put in a triple bottom here um, during the Asian session. It's just come down and, uh, yet another bounce off these uh, this sort of 155.80 sort of area, 85 area. What we're seeing now, um, we put in a, a quite a nice reversal uh, pattern here. This little pivot swing on the lower side here. Uh, the, the, if this continues and we see a continuation in this mode, uh, we could well go uh, move up towards the, uh, the, the the weekly pivot, the monthly pivot here. So there's some key points above us. In fact, we've even got the daily pivot. So we've got three sort of key pivots within a, uh, a relatively small range here. Uh, the uh, monthly pivot hasn't been touched for over four months now, so got a pretty high probability we're in hit this month at least. So um, this is where we stand at the moment. Reasonable chance of moving up there. There are some key numbers coming out this week, and of course the budget coming out this week. So there's a lot of data to come out on on, on the pound this week. It'll be interesting to see how it how it holds up. And in the current situation uh, today, we've got the uh, UK manufacturing PMI coming out at 9.30. Not been a big mover for a long time, but may just give it enough kick. And uh, anything positive here uh, could see it sort of edging towards the, um, as I say, the daily, weekly and monthly pivot. So uh, that's what I'm really looking at this morning. Of course, we've got some key resistance above us. Now, um, just uh, looking at the... Uh, just in case it does start breaking down, a break of this lower trend would see see it running back towards the um, the bottoms there, uh, the, the the lows. And if, if it breaks this area here, as we've hit hit it about three times, there is a chance uh, we could see uh, further downside. So I'm watching that quite closely as well. Now we could just sort of get, get a, 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 a sort of a slight break through it. So aware of that, but uh, at the moment. That's really sort of the line in the sand to the uh, downside of it, to the upside of the day. We can get through this, uh, these 20, 21, 34 sort of area. We're on for the daily pivot, maybe the weekly and so on. So uh, there's the the pound dollar, the euro dollar. Uh, looking from a uh, daily perspective first over on the left hand side here. And really it's just put in a, um, well, side by side by here at the moment. Um, it's a bit of an inside bar so far. Um, sold off a bit this morning or through the Asian session. Not really recovered to the same extent the pound has yet. Um, we've already hit the daily pivot, so um, it's uh, uh, th th there is a chance it could push down. The weekly pivot's just here as well, and we, within, a, within a smidgen, we've got the monthly pivots. All the pivots are pretty tight together. Um, uh, there is a chance of uh, a push up towards that monthly pivot. Uh, of course, looking at sort of some of the key levels here. Well, in fact, it's probably looking easiest to look at off the 60-minute chart here. Uh, some key points I'll be looking for is a break of these lows here. Um, certainly uh, would be more on the short side. Uh, then we got we got sort of two areas here. We have got this upward trend and this downward trend. Um, if it breaks the downward trend, starts pushing up that way. Well, then as I say, we've already hit the daily pivot as the um, it's the monthly pivot just above us there. Somewhere amongst that lot, there's a weekly pivot as well. So it's uh, uh, all, all so close together. But that certainly would be a target towards that uh, monthly pivot if we can start breaking up that in that direction. So some key areas to watch for there. In fact, if I take this off, um, drawing object off, and I can actually draw a proper trend line across there, um, looking somewhere in that sort of region. Now it could just be taking the nearest low there. Pop that across and look at look for breaks of these these key levels here. I know this is a live candle at the moment on the alleys, but even so, uh, a break of that at a later point. Um, as I say, could see further downside. And likewise, if it breaks these lows, um, as with the pound, we could be pushing back down to the the uh, the, the, the low points. Right, okay, that's it for me. Um, there's no Euro news out uh, today. Of course, there is later in the week, but for the uh, early part of the week, it's uh, quite quiet. Um, oh, I will just have a quick look at the dollar yen as I'm uh, running through this because it's uh, started having a shift up again. We're at double top territory at the moment. Uh, there is a chance this could just uh, 
uh, roll back a little bit it's not one I'd like to be uh, selling really uh, although um, it has some key levels below us the uh, a weekly pivot is not that far and again the monthly pivot is not a long way away now we've just managed to miss last week's last week's last month's uh, pivot there there is a chance of course this will come down uh, not necessarily today uh, but it's a high probability that will come down and be hit but uh, uh, it is at the moment selling off and there's the daily pivot just below us at uh, 118.33 so these these area these, these pivots are pretty close, and then the weekly pivot just below that with a 50 M main. We've just got a bit extended on this hour, these may be, and it could just come back to that sort of. Uh, and I wouldn't necessarily be looking for it to sell off much beyond that, but uh, it would be a good target. Okay, that's it for me. Have a great one. Bye for now.